Chefs, my name is Mexico City. I'm a music producer and engineer based in Los Angeles, California. I've been blessed to be working with many celebrities such as DJ Snake, Selena Gomez, Jason Derulo, among many others. And today I'm here on behalf of Synchro Arts to show you exactly how I implement the use of Revoice Pro within my workflow. And today I'm going to be showing you two different ways on how I get my vocals completely time aligned. So let's get this going. So here in my session you're going to see I already have my vocals um, in, in the session. So the first thing that I'm going to do for teaching you the first method that I use, I'm gonna open Audio Suite, I'm gonna go into the menu Synchro Arts and make sure I open the Revoice Pro link. So once I open it, I need to click on the button New to create a Revoice project linked to my Pro Tool session. Once you see this menu load scene, that means that Revoice is already synced to, um, to, to Pro Tools. As you can see on the name, on, on the files, and as you can see in this menu, that means it's already uh, working. So for starters, what we want to do, we want to start aligning this lead vocal to these four stacks that are matching uh, the lead vocal. So what I'm going to do first, I want to create uh, four tracks to, to be able to process those tracks within uh, Revoice. So if you want to use a shortcut, you can use shift Control n to create uh, tracks within Revoice. Or if you don't want to use shortcuts, you can just go into the menu, tracks, and add tracks. So first things first, I'm going to start uh, sending my lead vocal into Revoice. So basically, I just want to do the, the capture only. I'm going to select where I want to capture it, which I want the lead vocal to be in Audio 1. I'm going to click um, Capture Audio. Then I'm going to start going to my stacks. And then I'm going to repeat the same process, but just capture those tracks in different channels. So I'm not overlapping anything. So uh, you may be wondering, why am I using this type of method? So for example, whenever I want to dive in a little bit further into like adjusting myself, um, the the time align, use, use Reboy's... Um, algorithm and then like try to fix some some little things uh, manually with, within Revoice, uh, I will definitely choose to use this specific method. And so for example, also something really cool about this method is that you are allowed to use a lot of uh, functions within Revoice, so you don't really get limited. So for example, if I, if I press uh, the letter B, Inside of Revoice, it, it's going to open the new process uh, window, which, for example, in this case, what I'm going to do, I'm going to go into the presets. And since I'm just, I just want to align the, the timing of my vocals, I'm going to select the Smart Align Tightest Time setting in here. So basically, what is going to happen next in the input, we're going to select which specific of these tracks is a guide. So then when we're trying to align the dubs, everything's going to be matching towards the guide. So uh, since we said the audio number one, that's going to be our guide. Uh, we already have it selected here. Then we're going to match the audio two into the guide. So all we got to do is just create a new process. Then we got to switch into the new track, repeat the same process. Once again, uh, now we process the last vocal that we have in here. And as you can tell, if you scroll all the way down, you're going to be able to see all the process that now we finally created. And before we continue, I want to share with you guys how to create a group process for you to be able to align your dubs to your guide by only clicking one button. And this process is going to take place in the new process setting window that you can open by clicking the letter V in your uh, keyboard. And basically, the only difference that we're going to be doing in this process is that in the input section, we're going to select the track that we want to take as a reference. And then we're going to select the first track that we are going to be using to dub the reference. And then depending on how many tracks we have inside of our revoice that we're trying to align to our guide, we're going to select 
in this particular case, we're going to select four since I have four different processes that I want to align to my guide. And then the next thing that I need to do is just make sure I'm selecting my guide, click new process. Then I'm going to wait for Revoice to do its thing. And as you guys can see, I have aligned my four tracks already by only clicking one button. So now, how can we get this process back into Pro Tools? So this is very easy. All we got to do is just select the audio. And how can you tell it's selected? So for example, I'm going to select the, the next track. As you can see, there's a little transients in here that are basically telling you visually that you are selecting a specific track, right? So now what I'm going to do, I'm going to bring back these tracks into my session. So then I'm just going to select in this track. I'm going to make sure I have my first track selected and I'm going to go back into my audio suite plugin and just click render audio. And then I'm going to go into the second one that I have. I'm going to select a new track. I'm going to click render audio. I'm bringing the new, the, the new information back into my session. Next one, I select the next track, render audio. And lastly, I have my last track, uh, which it's here. And then I just click render audio. And now just to double check how this sounds, all together. Perfect. So now everything is lining up. Now we're going to proceed to go into the second type of method that I use for lining up my vocals. Uh, as you can tell, there's some harmonies happening. Uh, next in, into a session. So we're going to be aligning those harmonies by using my, my other method. So we go back into Audio Suite, we go back into the Synchro Arts uh, folder, and now we're going to open Revoice Pro Quick APT. So Revoice Pro Quick APT, uh, to whomever have ever used vocal line before, this, this is going to be like a very similar process for you guys. This is going to be very familiar. So check this out. So basically, the the main reason why I will use the APT process is sometimes when I know uh, the stacks that I need to edit, they are not completely out of time, but I just wanna give like those little touches just to finalize aligning. Uh, I'll decide to go with the APT process just to make things easier and quicker since I already know that 100% I'm not gonna have to correct any timing issues, right? So. Uh, what I'm gonna do right now, I'm gonna, as you can see in, in my preset here, here, same thing. It tells me all the type of uh, presets that I can be using depending on, on what I'm working on. But as I said, we're just focusing on uh, timing the vocal. So I'm gonna follow the Smart Align, Tightest Alignment. And basically what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna select the track that I'm trying to use as a guide. So I'm gonna click Guide. Then I'm gonna go into the Dove tracks and then I'm going to click in the plugin dub. And then I'm going to, once once the full process renders, I'm, I'm going to click render um, in the track. And then I'm literally going to have to repeat exactly the same process for the rest of the tracks. So while we continue processing all these vocals, I just want to bring up again, I, I want to make a little recap on why I use these two different methods while timing my vocals. So once again, my first method that I use I bring my vocals outside of Pro Tools into Revoice. The main reason why is because within Revoice, I can actually manually adjust any little thing that I need to adjust in order to get my vocals sounding right and then bring them back inside of Pro Tools. And the second method that I'm using, it's something where I already know based on my experience on understanding like, okay, you know what? These vocals that I have in here, they're almost perfect. They just need that little touch. I'm pretty sure everything's gonna be fine by only using the APT um, algorithm. So that's where I decide just to go with Revoice Pro 4 APT. So that definitely saves me even more time on just doing this type of uh, process automatically. So overall, that's the main difference between these two different um, type of approaches that I use. And now that we have finalized processing these vocals, let's take a listen and see how it sounds.
So those are the two different type of methods that I use for getting my vocals timed. And in the next couple videos, we're going to be talking about how to get your vocals tuned by using Revoice Pro as well. So once again, thank you so much. I really hope this was very um, entertaining and insightful for you. And also, if you want to stay tuned with me, you can visit my social medias and Instagram at The Real Chef Labs and also on Mexico City. Um, I'm going to be posting more content, more tips and stuff like that. So stay tuned, please. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much, Syncrarts. I'll see you in the next one.